Okay, you guys, so jumping right into it, what you're going to need are some bundles of yarn, color of your choice, non-slip liner, scissors, a crochet hook, and your magical hands. So I'm starting off by unraveling the yarn from the outside. You shouldn't start working with this from the inside because it may get tangled and become a mess. So to create your pom-poms, what you're going to do is first take the end of the yarn, place that on the palm of your hand like this and hold it down with your thumb so that it doesn't move. Then you'll simply wrap the yarn around your hand about, hmm, I'm going to say around 50 to 55 times. I lost track of count a couple times. I probably went over or under, but it doesn't really matter. These things don't have to be perfect. Just make sure that you make enough so that the rug is nice and full. At this point, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut the yarn at the top of your palm. And you're going to need another piece of yarn that you're going to cut about six to seven inches long. And you're going to need this to tie your pom pom together. I was being very extra when I made this first pom pom because I tied it about three times which is very time consuming. Um, you don't wanna be sitting here all day tying pom-poms together. So the much simpler way to do it is basically just tie it twice. After you've done two simple knots, you'll take your scissors and you'll cut the loops to create your pom-poms. After you've done cutting that, trim off any yarn that you see sticking out shake the pom-pom and then um, go back and check if you missed any loops then cut again when you do that you'll probably have some more yarn sticking out of the pom-pom so just trim those off again so that it's somewhat even all around on to the next step i'm going to take the script liner and i'm going to lay it on a flat surface i'm using my daughter's laundry basket to help me cut out the shape that i want for the rug which is round but um, of course you can do whatever shape you would like. You could do a rectangle, a heart, a star, whatever your little heart desires. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. I've already tied the first pom-pom on here. It's very simple and easy. So you're going to take the crochet hook and you're gonna stick it through one of the holes. Take one of the pom-poms that you made, use that long string of yarn that you tied the pom-pom together with, put that in the latch hook, close it, and pull it through the hole. Repeat that same step. When you've done that, take the two strands of yarn and tie it. Preferably twice. And there you have it. A thousand more to go. Just make sure that you don't put them too far apart. If you do, that's fine. You can always go back in later on and fill in the empty spaces just like I did.
When you're all done tying the pom-poms onto the liner, flip it to the other side and cut the strings of yarn down. And then you'll be completely done with this DIY. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you gave it a try. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.